All right, what is going on guys and welcome to an Apex Legends video and in today's video guys It's gonna be a pretty simple video But I want to go over my new settings and my auto exec since they fixed auto execs and now you can actually use them After the most recent patch. Uh, I want to show you guys all my settings that I use at the moment uh, With this most recent update. So we're gonna go over the actual video settings first Which did not really change, but I just want to go over them for anybody that would not have seen my previous videos so uh, my video settings right here I use native resolution uh obviously if you guys want a stretch res video to learn how to use stretch res on this game uh let me know and i will make a video about it but i personally don't use it so that's why today we're just talking about my settings uh field of view 110 preview shake minimal vsync disabled uh zero don't touch that doesn't matter uh anti-aliasing i like it on some people don't but i don't like the way it looks without anti uh then my texture streaming budget high i have a high npc so you guys could definitely mess with that uh texture filtering by linear and uh ambient occlusion and quality disabled sun shadow coverage low sun shadow detail low spot shadow detail disabled volumetric lining uh disabled dynamic spot shadows disabled model detail i like that high so my character looks good uh the effect detail is low the impact mark is disabled and the ragdolls are low so that's all the only like the only settings that i keep high are model detail uh, texture streaming budget and then i keep the anti on which is you know what makes the characters like, in my opinion in the world look good so that's pretty much all i keep high but aside from that we're going to go over to the auto exec and the origin launch commands and i'm going to show you guys that so as you guys see in my origin launch here guys if you guys go to game properties and to uh the advanced launch options right there uh this is my commands that i use over here so the exec auto exec one is to execute the auto exec that i'm going to show you guys after this high is to keep this uh, like a high priority on your computer full screen force full screen force no v-sync uh you don't want v-sync that is horrible and will give you input lag then uh obviously fret 144 that is for your monitor uh, refresh rate if you, have, you guys have a 144 monitor you guys want to put a 144 but if you guys have a 240 put a 240 if you guys have a 165 which is not as common but if you guys have that put 165 that's pretty much all it is for and then uh plus cl show fps4 that is for the fps counter which you guys can use the uh the origin one but that one glitches my game out a lot and i don't like it so personally i prefer the command but that is just me uh now we're gonna go over the auto exec guys which is located right there as you guys see so what you guys are gonna do is go to program files uh in the local disk you guys want to go to origin games uh apex cfg and then you guys will have this config default pc file you guys want to copy and paste it in the same folder and then rename it to auto exec when you guys boot it up it will have all of this delete everything and then copy what i'm gonna have in the description for you guys which is all right here already and you know already done so here in the auto exec all you guys have is the fps max zero which means that it's going to uncap your fps uh then mat q mode which will use a multi-threaded mode instead of just one single thread which will make your game run better overall and hut setting ping alpha this is for ping and banner transparency so you can see through sprint few shake style less head bob uh then the static prop max scale distance this is for render distance if you guys want to lower it even more you can make it 500 if you guys have really really bad pcs uh you can definitely make it 500 instead of 1500 and then uh use keyboard ample time that will make it so you have less input lag on your keyboard and network commands those are all for better connection overall you guys don't need those if you guys have just you know fine experience with apex with connection you guys don't really need these but i do enjoy having those and all of this uh for the mouse you know input lag for the mouse acceleration unbind jo joysticks and stuff uh for controllers stuff like that uh then audio commands to make it so you can hear stuff better this has really helped me uh with hearing stuff obviously they fixed the audio in a patch a couple patches ago which it, it did make it better but i still like to have these commands in and then uh, right here all of these are for better fps we're not sure which ones got disabled with the patch but there's a lot of them that still work obviously because i get better fps with this auto exec on compared to having it off so definitely definitely uh use this auto exec if you guys are struggling with fps all of this should help out and uh, overall this is really had has been my best experience with this game i've done a lot of testing since the patch and this is definitely my best uh you know my best final result for now and if it happens to change in the future and i do use a different auto exec or different settings i will definitely let you guys know and make an updated video about it but i hope you guys did enjoy it man that's pretty much all i had for you guys today 
so everything is going to be in the description guys you guys can just copy paste it from the description it will be uh this part of it will be in it and then the uh origin launcher uh commands will be in it as well so you guys can just copy paste you guys don't have to worry about typing anything out and like i said man hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>